stunt coordinators out there. Two favorite uncles back here before stunt fellows. I am Logan Myers. That's my good mate over there. I'm Henry Hill. What's going on, everybody? We've got a good one tonight. We are kicking off the summer movie blockbuster season. What better way to spend our time than with the dreamy Ryan Gosling? And Emily Blunt's not too bad either. That's right. We were talking about David Leitch's brand new, based on the old TV show from back in the 80s, I believe, 70s and 80s. It's called The Fall Guy. One last stunt. Going down in a blaze of glory. That's right. We're back. One of the most anticipated films of the year. Something I've been super excited for being a huge Ryan Gosling fan. Everything he's in. Different characters he plays. Comedic all the way to dramatic. He's always really fantastic this time around. He plays a down and out stuntman. Has this accident. It's not working in the movie business anymore. And he's tasked with finding the missing star of his ex-girlfriend's film, which is, of course, played by the lovely Emily Blunt. She is lovely, and Ryan's not bad on the eyes either, is he? He's had a hell of a couple of years here. Coming off of last summer's um, Barbie, of course, playing Ken, and he sure was Ken enough in that. He even sang at the Oscars uh, this, you know, a couple months ago. Just having a hell of a time and now starring in his own action franchise. Awesome job from uh, Ryan Gosling. He's completely likable in this. He's the leading man, and Emily Blunt plays, uh, you know, a movie director who's always had a thing for Colts and Colts had a thing for her ever since they worked together on this movie. Um, and this movie really is a love letter to the stuntmen that work in movies and just a love letter to movies in general too. You know, it's one of those movies that, you know, for film fans like us, it's a, uh, it's kind of a nod and a wink to that. And, you know, sharing that love of the movies and the behind the scenes drama of what happens on set the stunts themselves in this movie are crazy. Something that you definitely want to see up on the big screen. You know, they really go all out in this. They show you everything from people flying through windows um, that stun the beginning with Colt Seavers falling down like super fast. You know, stuntmen don't get a lot of credit for the movies. And this movie really is like a love letter to them and just goes to show you all the crazy things they do. And they're doing it for these big stars. You know, they're going in the place of these big stars, so they don't get hurt. And a lot of the times the stuntmen do get hurt. They, you know, in some cases they die on set and they don't get enough love. So this movie really is dedicated to them. And I thought Ryan really pulled off this role here playing the stuntman. And from the looks of it, did a lot of his own stunts in this movie, too. Yeah, it looked like that. I mean, just from the get-go of the film, it's a really good-looking movie. The set pieces, all the action, um, you know, the stuntman, obviously... Um, Colt Seavers being the main star here, all the stunts they do. You know, this movie, it's how stuntmen are overlooked in the filmmaking process. And as you said, it's a love letter to that to, and the filmmaking process. And, you know, for being big film junkies like ourselves, it's really cool being behind the scenes in the filmmaking process, how they make them, the directing, the body doubles, the stuntmen, you know, everything in production, you know, all involved in these types of movies and then the drama that can happen behind the scenes. And I kind of dive into that with this film and, you know, Ryan Gosling kind of being out of the game and <laughs> having a, a valet job. He looks like a Southern California stoner. He had the long blonde hair <laughs> yeah. and the sunglasses, just making some dough on the side, you know, he's a valet, but um, it brings in the character of Gail, played by Hannah Waddingham from uh, Ted Lasso, plays this uh, producer, you know, like, hey, you need to get back. You need to get back in the industry. I know you're down in your luck, but you need to get back and help out his ex-girlfriend, Jody. Uh, who they're looking for the main star, which is played by Aaron Taylor Johnson. Yes, Aaron Taylor Johnson playing Tom Ryder. Um, yeah, they're involved in this big movie, this uh, big blockbuster movie. Jody's going to be the director of the movie, and something happens where the main star, uh, Tom Ryder, played by Aaron Taylor Johnson, goes missing, and it's kind of up to Colt to you know go investigate and go find out what happened before it's too late and kind of save the production of this movie for his former flame and somebody that he's obviously still has feelings for and she has feelings for him. So it's going to bring them two together, hopefully, but it's going to be a dangerous, uh, you know, mission to uh, find them. And there's a lot of uh, blackmailing in this and double crossing. Um, we won't spoil anything here for you, but the stunts are what you're coming to see in this. And I love the, the wink and a nod to the Miami vice uh, stunts <laughs> on the boat. 
that whole scene was really cool. He's handcuffed behind his back and he basically steers this powerboat out on the water. There's a ramp. He has to jump it. And uh, the stunts in this were really cool. They're, they're really set up well and they just keep getting bigger and uh, more dangerous as the movie goes on up until, you know, the final stunt, which is, you know, really awesome. Uh, just a, a fun movie and a fun franchise starter. Um, I know it didn't make as much as they were hoping the first weekend, but I think it, it this a movie like this is going to get a good word of mouth. Just how fun it is and likable the stars of the movie were. Uh, one thing that I was hoping for more of uh, was to see the relationship between Colt and uh, Jody more. I felt like the two of them weren't on screen enough. Like they had some good moments together, but it just feels like they could have used maybe 10 to 15 more minutes of screen time together just to really get that chemistry going. You know, you, you could tell that they liked each other or whatever in the scenes and, and all that. And they're both good looking people, obviously, but a little more fleshed out between the two of them, it, it would have made it a little better. But uh, as far as the stunts and everything that you're going to the movies to see this for, it delivers in every way possible. Uh, Winston Duke is another star of this. Um, involved in the stunt team. He's he's great in this too. I noticed Teresa Palmer's in there and it's got a good cast overall. Like you mentioned, Hannah Waddingham from Ted Lasso playing a different role than we're used to seeing her. Obviously, she literally goes dark in this from blonde hair to uh, brunette. <laughs> so she looks a little different. Um, but uh, yeah, just a fun movie overall and uh, something that you want to see at the theater for sure. This is a, a fun movie and it delivered exactly what I expected it to. No more, no less, and uh, a definite thumbs up for me. This is a good way to kick off the summer blockbuster season. You have everything that you want in a film going into summer. Action it has our storyline and the characters. It's funny. A lot of really great funny scenes in this movie that made me laugh out loud more than I expected. Uh, of course, the action and the ending was awesome. The performances here, Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt were incredible. Like you said, just needed a little more screen time together, but I thought they were believable. They had some good chemistry together. And of course, the supporting cast across the board was really fantastic. Hannah Waddingham, Winston Duke, huge fan of his. Massive dude. He was really great in this. And uh, the list goes on and on. Uh, another really great aspect of this film that I really enjoyed right from the get-go was the music, the Kiss song that was kind of reoccurring throughout the movie. Mm -hmm. And of course, the whole scene with one of my favorite artists right now, T-Swift. Oh. Well, my Swifty is out there, Ryan Gosling, <laughs> jamming that, has a, a tear come down and, you know, Jody comes out and she's like, are you listening to Taylor Swift? No. <laughs> I can totally relate to that. So it's really funny <laughs> scene. Uh, but really, you're going to go see this movie, it's, especially on the big screen for all the action, all, all the great uh, stunt scenes and everything. Gosling goes through, gets some ass beat, trying to find Tom Ryder's character and of course all his crew and he's just a lot of uh, great fight sequences. Kudos to Mr. Gosling for knocking all these stunts out. It looked very realistic and yeah, a great time at the movie theater. A good movie to kick back, relax with the family, have some popcorn. So that being said, I'm going to give the Fall Guy, currently playing in cinemas across the globe, I'm going to give it a four out of five. Colt Seaver's hair pieces. Great performances, great chemistry, great comedy. Like you mentioned, yeah, tons of fun parts in this. And Ryan Gosling has mentioned, you know, wanting to take less serious acting roles. Because we've seen him a lot in his young career playing these like really serious brooding roles. Drive, Place Beyond the Pines. Those two come up immediately. He wants to have more fun on screen. And in, the, in this movie, you can really tell he's embracing that, having a blast doing it and getting to do all this action, which is fun to see. He's got the charisma. So hopefully this opens up the doors and he's, you know, given more franchises. I know the gray man, we both liked to him in that role. So love seeing it. And uh, yeah, really enjoyed this film. Music, action, it's got everything. A little bit of everything stirred into the pot. So with that being said, I'm going to give the fall guy I'm going to give it a four out of five Emily Blunt hair pieces. Don't hear from all you young men out there. What did you like about The Fall Guy? What didn't you like about it? What's your favorite film of 2024 thus far? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to stay in. Subscribe. Also, check out these wild uncles on Facebook, X, and Instagram, and our website, cinefellas.com, for the latest, greatest TV movie news and reviews. It's the time of the year that we've been waiting for the summer blockbuster movie season, like a movie that we've been looking forward to pretty much every week from now until the end of summer, you know, and TV too. all these shows coming on. It's exciting, you know, to be, you know, movie and TV junkies. 
We're going to be doing this each and every week. We're going to be back with you, giving you guys a review, letting you guys know what you should definitely go check out and what maybe to stay home for. Uh, but thank you guys for watching our review of the first summer blockbuster of the season, The Fall Guy. And until the next Cinefellas Movie Review, I'm Uncle Henry Seavers. And I'm Uncle Logan Taylor Johnson, signing out until the next <laughs> movie review. Jeez, cut.